Hey there, everybody. It's Fire, and we are back at it again with another episode of Clive Barker's Undying, episode 15, the episode of Dragon Cannon Dynamite. Let's, let's go. All right, hello? Satan? Stuck. Aiden? Aiden? What are we doing? Where are we going? Right, my Mar my Tarasanti brothers, the Ambrose quest. Oh no. Jammed. Won't budge. Jammed. Stuck. No thanks. Not yet. Like, try these doors? I mean, sure. Got it. Heck yeah, boys. Platforming. Okay. I see all. Sure. Why not? Oh. Hello. Oh, you scared me. I didn't think I'd run into anyone at this hour. Likewise. So tell me, what do you know of Ambrose? Ambrose is the family secret they like to keep quiet. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, no one has ever directly told me, but everyone on staff knows that Ambrose killed his father. It's one of those family secrets they don't like to talk about. He killed Joseph? Yes. Seven years ago, in the game room, even the authorities in town knew about the killing, but were slow to act upon it, since Ambrose was such a hellion. Throughout the county, Ambrose was known for his viciousness. Only a fool chose to stand in his way. I mean, alright, sure. Oh, I take it they never caught him. He emerged after months of hiding to claim his inheritance. He barged into the manor and proceeded to take whatever he wanted. By the time the constables could arrive, Ambrose had fled the scene. They gave chase, but he escaped their pursuit by leaping off a cliff. A cliff? Never hesitated for a moment. Everyone thought him to be dead. Except... Except what? We'd hear stories of Ambrose sightings for years. In the States, the Orient, even in Prussia. We really didn't believe he was still alive, until he came back and brought those heathens with him. The prodigal son returns. In so many words. I do hope I've helped you. You have indeed. Thanks. All right, we got a new journal entry. Oh, I disappeared. Can I? Is there loot? First off. Oh, uh, Jesus. I guess I should maybe go back the way I came and go back to that guy and go back to you. Maybe just start going this way. Yeah, okay. Real quick, let's take a look at that journal entry. Panda, yo, what up? I thought you were driving. What I heard makes more sense now. The man I heard Ambrose attack was his own father. He actually murdered his own blood. A butler filled me in on a piece of the morbid covenant history. 
The family, townspeople, and local authorities were afraid of Ambrose even after he had disappeared. Beard? What about Beard? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what I beard. <laughs> uh, even after he disappeared, when, when B finally returned to the estate, the constable gave Chabes and Am Amrose <laughs> was able to evade them. Demb. <laughs> I'm, I'm done with that. Uh, by leaping from the cliffs to the ocean far below. Your layman stayed home? Yeah, all right. Their fear of him when alive was nothing compared to the sightings of Ambrose following his deadly leap back from the dead. It seems the black sheep has returned. Um. Come on. Do I need to haste myself? Please? Can I just not take those shells? Is that okay? Yo. Oh! Oh! Oh, jeez. Oh, God! Oh, God! Get absolutely busted. My guy, get absolutely busted. Oh! Because oh. busting makes me feel good. Oh, yeah. Please? I'd like shotgun shot. Okay, whatever. You have no dishwasher? No. Alright, what do these say? First off. <clears throat> Some things never change. One by one, my kin are dying. This pathetic excuse for a world is coming to an end. I right now only to pass the time waiting for the authorities to cease their search for my body. Looking back, I smile at the voices in my head that always said to keep the pirate's cove a secret. Had I shared my hideout with my siblings, the police would have shackled me up long ago. Instead, I am the hot-tempered black sheep covenant who, le who leaped, leapt, to his death to avoid capture. Only my childhood companion, Connor, knew of this lair, and he, sadly, didn't share my vision of things to come. Funny, even though watching the life pour from a friend would trigger some remorse or compassion in me. But such is not the case. This place is more of a home to me than my father's manor ever was. Long before I took this cove as my own, generations of thieves and smugglers found sanctuary here. Feeling their presence and guiding whispers drove me to unite with the Tarsanti. Even the weakest sheep serves a purpose. Oh, the day comes close. Ambrose Covenant. Cool, so now we're just going to be fighting Tarsanti. Nice. Ambrose's journal, pardon me. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> it is unpleasant. I, I love, I love... A dishwasher. Okay. <clears throat> May 11th, 1914. My father gave me this diary for my 18th birthday, just as he did for my older siblings. He thinks by forcing us into the same pathetic ritual he undertook as a young man, we will magically turn into responsible adults. June 15th. 1914. Father is forcing me to use my journal. He watches now across the library as I write self-reflection. As I write, self-reflection is the key to enlightenment, he says. Rotten tripe. Soon I take leave to travel Europe and the Middle East. Ooh, like eight years have passed. Okay. April 14th, 1922. I have found my true brothers, the Tarsanti. They are a barbaric race traveling the desert in search of battle. They neither fight for independence nor to subjugate. They fight because they hate. They have taught me how to use primitive but powerful weaponry. I return home soon, bringing my knowledge and some souvenirs with me. May 3rd, 1922. I need to know what father has been researching all these years. 
the old man has been negligent of everything else. I must know why this is so. I will sneak out to the Isle of Standing Stones to discover his secret, but I will need to be careful. The groundskeepers are loyal and will snitch on me if they have half the chance. Ooh, rip. May 4th. Sorry? Ah, the, the day after. May 4th, 1922. I'm sure I was spotted by one of my father's servants last night. I saw his lantern as I pulled the skiff from the dock. The isle was... Ooh, you know what? There it is. The isle. The isle was a fool's errand. Old rocks and some barbaric chiselings were all. It would have been worthless if not for a twist of fortune. Not wanting to be seen, I risked the reeves and moored up the coast. There amongst the cliffs, I discovered a mysterious cove. I am certain it is the hideout my ancestors used so long ago. I am excited to return and to explore these caves. This secret will no doubt prove valuable to me. Mm. 21st of June, 1922. Today in the billiard room, Father confronted me about my late night excursions. I did not realize that the... That a stick could do such damage. I watched as his blood stained the floor and he begged me for mercy. I told the servants that father's heart gave out and he hit his head while falling. My family is shocked. The funeral is tomorrow. Father always said, self-reflection is the key to enlightenment. Allow me to reflect on this day. How could I have saved my father from a slow, painful death? I could have hit him harder. Oof. Ambrose. Oh, get them. June 23rd, two days after my previous writings, 1922. The constable is looking for me. He is suspicious. I've changed my accent. This may be my last entry in this journal, for I will not be caught alive. Since father's death, all fear has left me. Although the life I know is coming to an end, I feel as if I am about to begin anew. Ambrose Covenant. Alright, well, now that I know that there are the little grounds people, or the, the Tarsanti walking around every which freaking way of this house, time to... Oh. Get me. Oh, baby. I love, I love the mirror action in this game. It's, it's awesome. Oh! Hey, you didn't see those guys try to kill me? Hey. Hey, you listen to me. Blow your ear off. Jesus. That, I think that was just the audio glitch of the, the game. I'm not gonna chalk that up to anything else. Can I go this way? I can. I, I don't know where to go. I, I, I don't I don't really know what to do. What, what, what are we doing here? Find a groundskeeper at front gate. Okay. Where's the front gate? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean front? I guess we go downstairs. Skirt! 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 Ah! What is that? What is... Whoa! What is that Cthulhu looking? Oh my god. I, I. What the f What is that? What is that? Okay, cool. <laughs> I found a dead end. Thank God. I just had something. Clap! Oh, I missed. Oh God, I missed. Get absolutely blapped. <sighs> K 
Okay, well, I guess I'm on the right track. Oh, yeah, all right. This is the main hall? No? Almost? Ah! Who is that? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. There's, there's a lady. And... Oh, Jesus. She has a shield? What is this? She has the skulls? Oh my god. Oh my god. You missed whatever went down. Um my, my, my giblets were getting jobbled. <laughs> Can I dispel the shield? Wow. Panda, I need you here in the heat of the moment. Picked up some more chotties. Blap! Blap! You're still alive! Curse you. <laughs> How are you still alive? Which, what, which door is it? Oh, Jesus. I don't know which door to go through. Oh, hello! Big fan of them dropping the ammo for me. I, I do appreciate that. Hey, can we talk to like Jeremiah? Can we see him for a minute? Be like, hey man, um, you want to call for backup because your house is overrun by evil guys? Like, can we can we talk about that for just a moment? Won't budge. That door, that door won't open. Okay, sure, whatever. I can go this way. Of course we do. We go this way? Hate this. It's the evil picture. You know, Ambrose is the um I I know, I've I've already looked. It's the most normal one. Honestly, like, he's fucked. She's already dead. Ambrose is just like, you know, look, he's just a misunderstood youth. You know, you throw that party in high school and somehow people you know. T yeah. Destroy him. Hello, Satan. Ooh. It's Shield Lady. I'm already cursed. So just like damage her enough to kill her. Got it. That's how I will deal with her as a enemy, as an, an enemy from now on. Yo, we made it back to the entrance hall. I don't know how we did it. I'd like to thank my friends, my family. Take me out, boys. Take me out. Are the rats? Are the rats? <gasps> Gardener? Gardener. <gasps> Just gonna say it one more time. F this freaking house, alright? Let me go. Won't budge. Let me leave. <gasps> there he is.
Sir? Is there any way out to the standing stones? Aye. There should be an old skiff by the water that would allow you to get out there. It's very dangerous to paddle around though, so don't go exploring the coastline or you'll find yourself wrecked on the many reefs. Here, let me unlock the gate for you. Aye, Captain, thank you. Um, I have not seen Haunting of Hill House. I can move this bench. I have not. Um. Oh, it's just this door. I was like, what is that sound? Real quick. Secret? Secret? No? Okay. Jump into the cutscene. Jump into the next. Oh, hello, Pepper. Oh, my God. Hello, boy. Hello, boy number two. There's some dark corners here that I'm not a fan of. No, mule! Worst timeline. Worst timeline. I don't like that they're green because that shows that they're like on my side, which is terrifying. Or maybe that's just, that's their, their thing now. Meals and donkeys are different? Yeah, I know. Don't make me do it to him. Also, why is there a green sheep? Is that just the is that just the lighting? Okay, there's the skiff. I just jump to it, probably. <laughs> get jumped, dog, get jumped. I think that's the uh, that's the manor right over there. All right, I'll take it. Ah, Jesus, criminy Jim Jims. I'm not ready for any of this. I just want to die alone and happy. I don't know how to get up here. I'm very scared right now. Gonna just go to the standing stones and probably summon a demon or two. These stones are different from the druidic designs. You don't say this isn't Stonehenge. This this is it this isn't Stonehenge. Huh. Wow. You really had me fooled there. Patrick What in the flying frick 
shield. Now see shield. Oh, who in the flying hells? All right, lady, look. First and foremost. The waters around the Standing Stones are too treacherous to navigate. Perhaps I should return to the manor and try to find the coastal route. The Pirates Cove, the groundskeepers may be able to help me for a clue to my journey. Can I just run? All right, we're going to we're going to do a quick save. We're going to do a quick save. This first one, we're going to fight this lady. But if we if we die a second time, we're running back to the skiff, baby. All right, lady. Wow. Okay, you have lightning powers. Time to stand behind a... Can I shield? In haste? Oh, baby. Oh, get, get juked. Get absolutely juked. Oh, okay, well. There goes my shield. Just bring it back. I mean, there is blood splattering from you, so I'm gonna say... You know what, let's um, let's just see what happens if we run. Right, like... Oh. Well, here's the thing, I'm gonna load. Oh god, don't hit me. Don't hit me. I'm a, I'm a young boy. And I'm going too far, but I have 93 HP. And I don't want to die. Okay, well. I mean, yeah, I have amplifiers left. We are absolutely going to be amplifying shield. I have a single amplifier yet. Kill it? No. Why, why would I kill it? Can I kill it? On your guard! Whoa! <laughs> Guess what? Dog? I have a shield now, so, um... <laughs> oh. Why wouldn't I? I don't know. There was that one thing I, I like, wasn't able to kill. Oh, that also did 53. Oh, Jesus. Crim Jesus, criminy. I would like to say that he just killed himself. Wait, is that what this... Is that what... Hang on. Hang on. Hold up. What? <laughs> what? We <laughs> okay. So first and foremost, we're we're reloading um, because I absolutely thought that. Sh ah! I'm a young boy. I'm a young boy, and I don't want to die from lightning strikes right now. Okay. This spell makes people kill themselves. On your guard. On your guard. What the fuck? What? What? The absolute maddest of lads. Okay, well, this guy's gonna try to blow himself up, so. Nope, just shot himself in the head. Cool, good, good, good. Um. Huh. That's a lot. <laughs> that's, that's a lot. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Um. This spell right here. This spell kind of. A cut might improve your looks. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. <laughs> oh, oh. 
Hey, 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 hey. I, do you see? He shot me through the, oh, lordy, good God. Hey, thing. Get, get, absolutely just, you, des you deserved that. You deserved every bit of that. All right, first off, heal me back up. Secondly, I want my shield. Should have tried that thing at the standing stones. Tried on the thing. Well, see, Panda, this is where you tell me, oh my gosh, you didn't do X at standing stones. And I go, what are you talking about? She's like, and then, you know, you say, oh, well, yeah, you would have, um, it would have been an insta, insta win. First and foremost, shield me. <gasps> no! No! Not the ram! No! Uh, that sheep is noping right on out of here. I just heard something. Excuse me? You didn't hear nothing. It was a sheep. Excuse me? Oh, I, I guess the shield does not last forever. I can't bring this guy back to life, huh? Oh, okay. What's the name of this spell? This spell is named... <laughs> okay, this spell... Is called um, invoke. Invoke. So there's there's the dispel, then there's the invoke. All right. Well, cool. Let's look at shield. Um, I can't quite explain. The power I've seemed to absorb from the spell, it seems to be some sort of protective... What are all the talking head things? Those are just all the, all the things we've talked about, like all the, um... You know, just like the... You know, the, the Ambrose history and whatnot. Um, so the spell here. Um, it seems to be some sort of protective entity that has the ability to sh shield me from physical and magical attacks. I'm not too fond of letting a spell do the work of a trusty shotgun, but if anything, I am now more than ever convinced that there are serious external and unnatural powers that are being harnessed on this estate, things that most people would disregard or fear. I am relieved, however, that I have stumbled across this before someone of a darker nature might have turned it upon me. You know, what's this to come in an estate? Right, the stone, you know, it's, it's too choppy. Too choppy. Oh my god! I was reading! I was reading! You gonna you gonna shoot a man for reading? What is this? I was I was gonna say something slightly political and then I you know It's going on YouTube. YouTube's a different beast. I honestly thought that was like a lady shrouded in black or whatever, and I was like, oh, okay, sure, we'll just fight her now. Hello? Groundskeeper! Groundskeeper? <gasps> We're in the seven <gasps> hells. Groundsman! I hate that sound. It makes <gasps> me think I'm getting shot every time. Every gosh darn time. <gasps> Groundsman? Jammed. Excuse me? Well, where the flying frick is the groundskeeper?
Do you know if there's a cove in the area? I'm not familiar with any cove. However, old Sidgwick, who maintains the lighthouse, is as old as the sea itself. If anyone knows this area, it'd be him. Very interesting. Keep your head on a swivel, boys. Keep your head on a freaking swivel. Don't just stand there. Keeping our head on a swivel. Alright, well, looks like we're gonna go see old Seed Seed Seedvik. And we'll be ending this episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, this is Fire signing off.